I am super excited and truly delighted to introduce Nancy Lublin and Crisis Text Line. I first met Nancy more than a decade ago, and I immediately liked her. She was running Do Something, the largest global organization enabling young people to make positive social change happen, both online and offline. Nancy's pure passion, her fearlessness, her commitment to make a real difference, and her wonderful wittiness, they all immediately struck a chord. I had met a fellow change maker. Now, do something is all about doing something fun, positive, possibility, hope, and change. However, Nancy noticed that too many of its members were texting in to ask for personal help. And that's where Nancy came up with the idea for Crisis Text Line, a free 24-7 support service for those in crisis. As you know, I work on ending child marriage. Through that lens, I see some of the many challenges, the violence and the inequalities that adolescents are facing all over the world. Real life stories of abuse, of doubt, and of despair. But I've also seen that helplines, like Crisis Text Line, can literally become lifelines for those in trouble. Recently, Nancy told me that her work with Crisis Text Line is the most challenging, the very hardest of everything that she's done in her life. And when she speaks shortly after this, you will understand why. But she also told me that it is the most impactful thing that she's done. Because Crisis Text Line does not only bring relief to those in crisis, it also actually saves the lives of those who've given up hope. Nancy, come onto the stage. I love you. He won't stop raping me. It's my dad. He told me not to tell anyone. And the words, are you there? I was working in a different organization when that message came in. So um, we sent a phone number for a hotline and never heard back. We sent the phone number again, never heard back. And I've personally tried that phone number. I've tried texting it, I've tried calling it, and never heard back. I don't know if it was a burner phone. I don't know if her father saw the message. I don't know if she's dead or alive. And I've always used a female pronoun when I tell this story, and I don't know that that texter was a female. And that was the inspiration for Crisis Text Line. Over these first five years, we've learned that strangers helping st other strangers in their darkest moments, all by text, works. We've learned to use data as a muscle that makes the entire body faster and stronger. We've learned to expand collaboratively to other countries like the UK and Canada multilingual. And we've learned to pioneer a distributed labor force, which is a fancy way of saying volunteers at home in their jammies. <laughs> Mostly, we've learned that there is a lot of pain out there. The next five years, we're going to slay that pain. <laughs> the, the next five years, we'll close in on a billion messages. 
We'll expand collaboratively with local leaders to 30 countries. We're gonna build those crisis counselors, those empathy MVPs into a global love machine. And we're gonna have a juicy data corpus with the volume, velocity, and variety to crush unhealthy, harmful myths about depression and anxiety, myths that foster stigma. It's gone in the next five years. We're on the case. And when I say we, on behalf of that love machine, on behalf of that community, we accept this award in the name of that texter. I hope that you're watching. I hope that you know that you lit a fire inside me that I did not know was there. I hope that everybody who's ever texted us knows that you are stronger than you know. And if you ever doubt that, if you ever doubt how strong you are, we got you. Thank you.